Jamie Wallace MP, Driving Disasters. In today's video, we're going to look at the um, ongoing saga of Jamie Wallace MP, the first trans MP here in the UK. Uh, in February, it was reported that Jamie Wallace MP was fined for a road traffic offence. The article on the BBC tells us that Jamie Wallace um, admitted that he failed to comply with the solid white line road markings. They are the ones that stop you from overtaking on small country lanes, for instance. In that case, uh, Jamie Wallace was fined um, £270 and had three points added to his licence. The news broke late last week that he was now being charged with some driving offences. So let's just take a little look at Jamie Wallace MP's driving disasters. Jamie Wallace is now facing charges over the car crash that he had in Bridgend last November, as reported by the BBC. Also reported in the Metro that he is being charged with failing to stop. The Guardian also reporting that Jamie Wallace is now facing driving charges. And finally, Sky News, who uh, linked it with the feature earlier in the week, where Jamie Wallace came out as trans. Uh, we've got some breaking news from South Wales Police, and this is regarding uh, the Tory MP Jamie Wallace. Now, he has been charged with failing to stop and driving without due, car due care and attention. This follows a car crash in November last year. South Wales Police said that 37-year-old had also been charged with failure to report a road traffic collision, driving without due care and attention, and leaving the vehicle in a dangerous position following the crash. And it happened in Cowbridge in the early hours of November the 28th. He's due to appear before Cardiff Magistrates Court on Tuesday, May the 10th. Uh, he did recently become the first MP to come out as wishing to be trans in March. And he spoke to Sky Sophie Ridge about it last week on her show. So what we know is that the accident happened at 1.10 a.m. on November the 28th, 2021. We know that in the accident, a Mercedes collided with a telegraph pole, causing an internet outage in a nearby village. The charges faced by Dr. Jamie Wallace include failure to stop after an accident, failure to report an accident, um, driving without due care and attention and leaving a vehicle in a dangerous position wrapped around a telegraph pole. Now the implication of the driving without due care and attention charge is that there's a possibility that Dr Jamie Wallace was driving under the influence of some substances we don't know because if he had not left the scene of an accident, a police officer attending the accident would have been able to do a roadside fitness check, may have requested that he accompany him to the station for a blood test, may have done an on-spot breathalyzer. We don't know. So um, the, that, is, that is a charge that is like equivalent in terms of punishment to a drink driving charge because it's often associated with people that have taken substances of, of whatever nature, whether they're prescription drugs, whether they're street drugs, whether they're drugs related to chemsex, who knows. So there's an element here of alleged um, incapacity due to substance use or drinking. There's an element of recklessness and carelessness putting other people's lives in danger by operating a vehicle in that state. And there's a lack of responsibility evidenced by leaving the scene of an accident, not reporting an accident and leaving your vehicle in that kind of a situation, um, which is just bananas. Now, we do know that Dr. Jamie Wallace has made some statements in the press explaining his actions on that evening. On the 30th of March 2022, 
Dr. Jamie Wallace issued a statement explaining his situation, declaring the sacred caste membership that is associated with claiming a trans identity. And in that statement, he also made statements about this accident that he'd been involved in. Jamie Wallace said, I'm trans, or to be more accurate, I want to be. I've been diagnosed with gender dysphoria and I've felt this way since I was a very young child. Of course, those of us that are familiar with the claims made by men who have um, an autogynephilic um, sexuality or paraphilia, um, however you want to describe it, they often um, do this process of kind of mental revision of putting themselves back in the position of being a child and claiming that um, when they were children they had these, these feelings of distress around gender. After his election in 2019, he was reported in the press to be a married man with two young daughters. We know it's not unusual for men with autogynephilia to marry women and go on and have a family before um, deciding in middle age that what they really want to do is to um, adopt this um, transgender identity. So it's no great surprise to see that Jamie Wallace, similarly with a lot of other men, uh, falls into this category. What it does mean is that he is, is projecting his adult desire to transition back into his, um, himself as a young child. And that's just developmentally inappropriate and um, it's untrue. So the next thing we see is that this man who claims to have had a transgender identity from being a young child who then grew up to marry and father two daughters before deciding to transgender, follows a really well-trodden path for many autogynephilic men in that they desire to be desired by a man because that's what they perceive a woman to be. And so he goes on to seek sex with men. Whether or not he identifies as, as gay, I do not know. Um, but this is not unusual for autogynephilic men and it's certainly a risk that any woman who is married to a man that uh, exhibits this tendency should be aware of that it's likely that he will he will devolve into um, seeking out sexual uh, relationships with men. He then claims that in September he hooked up with someone who he met online and when he insisted on using a condom before sex, the man ignored his request and continued to have sex with him, which is, of course, rape. Rape is always wrong and it can be devastating to experience the lack of control and, and to submit to somebody else in that way. As ever, the accounts of water gynephilic men are not reliable indicators of such things because it is so much part of the fantasy to be forced to submit to a stronger man. The sissification fantasy, the autogynephilia, um, that it is a really common fantasy for these men to be in that situation. So, it's very, very difficult to take him at his word here that um, this particular incident had such a devastating impact on his entire life. But all I'm saying is that the accounts of an autogynephilic man are not necessarily as reliable as women survivors of sexual violence. When I crashed my car on the 28th of November, I fled the scene. I did so because I was terrified. I have PTSD and I honestly have no idea what I was doing, except I was overcome by a, 
by an overwhelming sense of fear. I am sorry that it appears I ran away, but this isn't how it happened in the moment. So he uses the statement to admit to being the driver of the vehicle. He admits to leaving the scene of the accident and failing to report the accident. And he admits leaving his car in a dangerous position. Um, he also admits to driving without due care and attention, but he is using the mitigating circumstances of his mental health and his trauma reaction um, to plea, to, as a mitigation in his, in his um, appeal to the judge. So we wait with interest to find out um, what, what the results of this next court appearance will be. Jamie Wallace is scheduled to appear in front of the Magistrates Court on Tuesday the 10th of May 2022, that's next Tuesday. There's still so much to talk about with this individual and this family um, and their little cabal that they, they run this little corner of, of South Wales with. Um, there are more videos um, coming down the pipeline. This one has kind of jumped ahead in the queue because the charges were brought and I felt that it was important to respond to that. So thanks for watching today's video about Jamie Wallace MP, the first trans MP here in the UK and his driving disasters since being elected as an MP. Um, thanks for watching this video. As ever, please do smash that subscribe button. Uh, I, I love to welcome new subscribers. Um, if you can give me a like or a dislike, that's great. Um, it's wonderful to get feedback. Uh, do join the conversation. It's a wonderful community. Join in, leave a comment. And um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the next video, take very good care of yourself. I'll see you soon.